He said the back door or the... Hey guys, back to you today with another video and behind me we're checking out a 1930s mansion. This is, uh, do you know how long it's been abandoned? I'd say five years maybe. It's been abandoned roughly five years, maybe longer. Uh, as far as I know, it's cleared out for the most part, but it's a really beautiful home. Nice stone structure. I think it has a huge fireplace in there. And um, behind me we got a barn back there and a little guest house over here. So it's a quite a big property and i um, really excited to check it out. So come along with me. Nice outdoor fireplace. You can see it's quite a impressive home. Got the nice stone wall here that serves as some seating for the friends or family. And you can see the perimeter, there's an old wooden fence. Very shady property. And you can see there's a couple windows open here and there. The roof is, looks like the roof is caved in right on top of that room right there. And you can see that door is wide open right where she is, so. Let's look on the outside, let's head inside. Jeff has a VW, so we can't a VW coming in the driveway. Okay. It's got hardwood floors. Fireplace with the built-in shelves. Yeah, you can imagine this would be an awesome house to own. I love this blue color. There's the built-in window shelves there. Built-in corner cabinet there, probably for China. This is very I guess you could say fancy. I I see. Yeah. Yeah. This is still salvageable. I mean, this is still, you can make this into a home. I love these window sills. I like it. So we got some rod right there. The old school security alarm system. I'll check upstairs in a little bit. What's that, a closet or? No, ah. A little built-in bathroom, probably an addition. <sighs> okay, so here we have, we're heading into the kitchen area. Little pantry area. Closet. And a security system. And it goes up on top of the roof. I'll show it um, right now. There's a beacon light and a siren. So, just here prepared for the worst. This is a nice kitchen. Nice cabinets, these big window sills. Lots of counter space. It says Paradise Custom Kitchens. Oh, look at this. That's interesting. So right off the bat, finding the stairwell leads me to believe that could have been uh, hired farm help 
if this was an, indeed on a farm or possibly servants' quarters for a uh, wealthy family. And look, it even has like little doorbell buttons. That's weird. Maybe that's to call the servant. It's a good possibility. Still got stove, modern microwave, very modern ceiling fan. It's hard to imagine this was occupied up until roughly five years ago, but that is the case. Another pantry area here. It is a shame that it's empty because <clears throat> Matt was telling me that a friend of his checked this house out right when it became empty and all the contents were in here. And that's the way I like to find the houses, but that's okay. It's still a very awesome house. And there we got the basement. Let's check that later. So here. A little outdoor porch with a stone floor. That's pretty neat. So it's a little outdoor enclosure. It's be a nice area to sit. Huge window. Surprised it's not smashed. And a two car garage. See, it's got the old style radiators in here. This house is relatively good shape. There's obviously some work needed on it, but not any graffiti that I could see, not a whole lot of vandalism, just a couple smashed windows and some mold here and there, but definitely a house that can be saved and hopefully is saved. You can tell they had their um, <clears throat> dryer out here. Like some newer garage doors that were installed prior to it closing, not closing, but um, becoming vacant and abandoned. Okay, so let's check out what we believe is the servants quarters. Yeah, I want to check that out. Well, this is a really nice room. Wow. And look at it. There's even... Wow. This is awesome. Connects to the main quarters. Family quarters. This is an awesome room. Oh, this is so cool. This was the kids' room, I guess. Yeah, I'll get connected to the family quarters over here. Yeah. I remember this room, there was toy, like, like, get yeah, beanbag chairs, you know, all types of stuff in here. Yeah. This is really neat. There's even a uh, fireplace up here, second story fireplace. Is this the uh, windows access to the attic? Yeah, it looks like there's old attic access. <laughs> this house is awesome. Yeah, it's pretty neat. I think that light switch, see if he's going. Oh, okay. There's little cubby holes here. You can imagine kids playing in there, playing hide and go seek. Yeah, I really like this room. So, if I'm mistaken, you know, obviously that's just by accident, but pretty certain this was at one point servants quarters and then obviously the more modern times when other families lived here it turned into uh, a child's bedroom because they said this was filled with toys and bean bags and probably bunk beds and that would make sense but all in all this is a really nice find definitely utilized the space very well it's a nice separate room above the garage but also has connecting access to the rest of the upstairs, which we'll check out momentarily. 
Okay, so let's check out the rest of the house up here. Look at this, second story fireplace. Yeah. This looks like it was a large bedroom. He said when they were here, there was a, a large bed and on the windowsills there was yearbooks and other personal items. And he had a little outdoor patio here too, which I wouldn't walk on right now, but um, I guess you were able to at one point. Anything up there? No, you can see the stone work and some beams. Take a look at it. There's a little hidden stairwell. Oh, it's up there. Yeah. I thought it was a walk up. Okay. Is there a floor to walk on or no? No, it's just the beams. Up there. Okay. Is that an insulator that light or is that an actual light? There's three of them. Is there? Oh, I know what those are. Fire extinguishers. They're filled with uh, a chemical or water, and then you break them, and it splashes out. It's one of them things, right? Oh, okay. Have you heard of them? I are think so. I, yeah, I just never saw them before. This is pretty big up here. I wonder why the store is moving. <laughs> oh, there's uh, another set of steps here. Yeah. See, this place is like a maze. It is. You see the bathroom over here? It's the doors on either side? No. Well, these are kind of sketchy. Oh, wish me luck. Oh, God. There's a stop right there. My god, this place is huge. This is mind blowing how big it is. It's I see Jeff now out there. Wow, this is quite a house. Trying to do some slow, steady camera work so you guys can really take it in because not every day you get to see a house like this. And uh, showing it on camera is not going to do it justice, but doing what I can. A little nook here. There's a bathroom. Wow, look at this bathtub. Claw oh, foot bathtub. That is simply a rare find that no one's taken this. Wow. Let's close this window. Here's the back of the fireplace. It's a clockwork bathtub. Very unique layout, that's for sure. Yeah, this place is like a fun house. Yeah, if I was a kid in this house, I'd have so much fun all these little things. Yeah. Closets. That's amazing. It's a nice little area here. I'm gonna check the toilet, those of you that don't wanna see it. Look away now. Pretty clean, and I think the date on this. Like. Yeah, these are huge walk in closets. What's that? It's a huge walk in closets yeah. this place has. It's from 1937. 37? Yeah, colonial revival. It's hard to believe. You can imagine it's heyday. It looks like it has servants' quarters. Is that what it was about the garage? Yeah. Yep. Here's the call button you pointed out. Yeah, there's, there's still some of the um, fire extinguishers on the wall. There were, remember? You throw them on the ground and the gas would... Oh, yeah, that's yeah, up in the attic. Yeah. The red glass... Uh... Yeah. Those glass balls, like, or something? Yeah. 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 And they had a dumpster. Wow, look at the size of this. Well, they had a dumpster when we first got here. Uh -huh. It's in the... 
Just, just imagine having this house. Uh, just just kids, these uh, closets, uh, secret, uh, you know, rooms. Uh, it's kind of amazing. I'd love to live here. Yes. Say we didn't see the contents locked behind here. We removed about two years ago. I said, but still, seeing this place, taking it through, is simply incredible. And we still got to check out more of the house, including the basement. This would have been. I'm sorry. Oh yeah. It's like you would see out of Hollywood or something. Like they, they're really nice. Yeah. Figure thirty-seven. These are built right in. Yeah, again, the original tile. Original tub of that. That's the pedestal. The floor's new. Yeah. It's amazing. My husband has been, we both have it, he does a full time interior design and before preservation. Okay. Uh, I took history but didn't get my master, so I can't live by it. <laughs> yeah. So I, I'm glad I think Jess and sometimes my husband too. Just, just, there's so many rooms. And this was last occupied, he said, about five years ago, he said? Yeah, five to ten years ago. Yeah. When we came in, they had their bills, checks, clothing, toys, everything strewn among the house. <laughs> um, I didn't take a lot of pictures at that time. I, I should have. There was canes in the closet. Yeah. There was a bed here. Um, we, we found bank statements, uh, diplomas in the dumpster. There's a crawl space here. Yeah, he, he popped up there before. And that's where those balls are up there, those fire extinguisher balls. Like. Oh, they're warm there? Yeah. Okay, there used to be some all over the house. This is just really, somebody really just looting. Mm -hmm. And I came by maybe two months ago. All the windows were open and all that rain we had. So I looked around and closed things up. But I honestly think it's a bulldozer at this point. It looks like a common, I think, three and a half baths in this house. Um, one, one upstairs, this two, one, three, three. There's one and a half closet. bath on the first floor, and then another full one basement. Oh, is there? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, so it was a, you know, in the 30s, um, there were, this is the wealthiest county in VA. It has always been among the wealthiest. It is now the wealthiest among that. But in the, in the 30s, the steel mills were still going, even the depression was coming to an end. And then in the 40s, the steel mills boomed with industrial contracts. Mm -hmm. That boom continued through the 80s and started to decline with all more of the steel in the 80s. Yeah. These bastards are looking to get this out. Yep. That's really upsetting. So this is known as Jack and Jill bathrooms. It has double access to it. Yeah. Lots of closets in this place. So figure this, you can't tell today, but this is southern exposure. So the, yeah, all the medicines were in there, all the, everything was in there, just as it was. I mean, they are going to see. Okay. okay, let's check the basement out. Yeah. I'm curious about the wood barn. I'm curious about the wood barn. When you say barn, am I saying corn crib? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to see. This is new, too. So I know. God damn it. No, I didn't call it. So what's the intention? Not like it. Yeah. Um, back in the, yeah, in the larder there. Oh, let me see if they got the mason jars. I'm sorry, I don't want to go ahead and count. Yeah, this was full when I brought my husband by. This was full of mason jars. Oh my god. For the, for the what do you call it, the chauffeur or the butler. So, was it four? Somebody's been in here, obviously. Yeah. Four full bathrooms? What's that? Is it four? I don't think this is a full one. Look how small that tub is. Um, yeah. yeah, it is a full one. Here's the top of the sink over here. Okay. What's that, Yeah, like a little... Is that for a, a holster? Yeah, it looks like a holster, but for, I don't know, a little axe or something? Oh, yeah, it's like a throwing axe or something. What the heck? Oh, it's still a nice little knife. What is this? Hatchet, whatever you want to call it. What's up with the coffee? Is someone that's looking like... here? That's it? That's, that's it goes together. Yeah. Whoever left it forgot it. Well, why would you? People are so good. There we go. Interesting. I don't know what this is about, but. Still coffee in there? I don't know. You the just... top, you know. Oh, the top. <laughs> That's like the uh, world's smallest tub. Yeah. yeah. This is creepy down here, man. See, so this, this is going to be probably part of the reason they might not save it. All this asbestos. Oh, yeah. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, around the piping. Gotta get a picture of that. Mm -hmm. This is the last rod here, and the great little mirror that started to decay. Oh, yeah, here's the rest of the bathroom. A large tank in that toilet, wow. Yes, yeah, freaking gobbler. There's still a date down this thing. Oh, there's some stamped. Look at that old logo for American Standard. Yeah. There's homeless people pass through here too, and there's a VA nearby, so um, a lot of this. So you walk around that connect. Yeah, connect. And what's that refined? Oh, that? another room. This sure. is this is where I thought it'd be great to put a pool table, you know, when you fantasize. What the hell? Why not? It doesn't cost okay. anything. Jeez, look at the size of this room. Uh, this is up to the living room. So yeah. This would be like a game room. This looks awesome. Yeah, that's huge. I like the look at the light fixtures up here. Nice. So right here they started to encapsulate the asbestos. So there's some intent to save it. Unless this the previous owners did. This well, is they're renters from my understanding. Yeah. I look up on Zillow is it? Yeah. Sure rent, uh, advertising so there's two it's stairwells nice. going upstairs? Where that goes to the living room. Yeah, that this room would make an awesome man cave, and uh, it's like a maze down here. It's just so incredible with all the doorways. Oh, what's this right here? It's like an alarm system. If you guys know what that's for, let me know down in the comments section. That's something uh, kind of unique. I want to say it's part of an alarm system, but just the endless rooms and doorways and closets. It's, <laughs> I'm kind of at a loss of words here. I love that archway here too. It's really something else. But again, he mentioned it'd be nice to put a pool table down here, which I agree. This would be a nice finished man cave. Put a bar in here. And uh, glad that gentleman came. He's Matt's friend and he's very knowledgeable of this location. So I'm glad he was able to come and share some of his information about this place. But uh, we're going to head back upstairs now. I didn't even know this staircase was here. Oh, look at There's one of them. It's still full. Oh, my God. I got to try and get that out of there. Hang on a second. So I just want to share with you, this is one of those fire extinguisher balls. These are sitting in those holsters in various areas. And I found one at the top of that locked stairwell door and it's full of liquid. I think it's water, I'm not sure, but there's a fire, you throw it, it would smash and hopefully put out the fire. But these are, this is a one of a kind for me. I've honestly never seen one before. And it looks like a giant light bulb. I mean, this is something that you don't see anymore. And to find one intact, I mean, I have to imagine these are around early part of the 1900s. I mean, this was built in 1937. This was part of the safety features to help save this house in case there's ever a fire. But awesome, awesome find. I can't believe I spotted that. The door was locked and I looked up and it just happened to be sitting there in that holster. Incredible find. You can see on there, it says International Fire Equipment. I'm coming down. The interesting is this window. So there's three of these red ones up in the attic. Not sure this no significance between the clear and the red, but yeah. four left behind. Because there's another access way on in the other room. You're right. Yeah. You know? Well, it looks like an old like I don't know if it's a light fixture or not. It pushes up and it's hollow inside. This is throw at base of flames. I got a better picture of that. That is awesome. So it looks like this one area they forgot to clear out, this one little lone cabinet. See, maybe some dates on this. 
Spires 151222. Some ginger. November 30th. November November 3rd, 2009. Interesting. Yeah. So we walked a little ways down from the mansion we were just in and this really old barn looking structure here may have been a place for feed. There's a little chute there on the outside. May have held corn in there, but you can see there's a really old refrigerator. Coco. It's so bulky looking because it's still works. Here's the freezer. <laughs> it's more like an ice box. <laughs> cool. Still in good shape on the inside. Someone will restore that for yeah. sure. Air conditioned food storage. That was awesome. Another one. Little burrows here, little dens. Yeah. It's like part of a garage door right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It gets you, doesn't it? Yeah. So much in this, in this area. See the red? I'm not sure which. Which are the? Is it, is it sparrows? I'm coming back down. I'm going to take a picture and come back down. Did it seem any worse than it was? Anything out there? There's a chest, there's a solar, there's more corn. I'm just hoping that they're going to tear this down, that they salvage the wood. There's some, there's some more nests. That's a big thing, like on people that use reclaimed wood. Or even better, we reconstruct it like on the mm -hmm. county property, you know, Springton Farm. Or over so, right there's the old barn we just uh, came out of, and directly across from it is the remnants of another barn type structure. It's a con concrete foundation, and it has a, like an upper and lower level. And we're going to walk our way down to it and hopefully get inside and show you what's there without getting caught on all these pickers. Very neat location. We still have the little guest house to show you as well, so give me more to this video, so stick around. So it looks like maybe one of the old entranceways here. So believe it or not, currently inside the structure. Some old tin metal. And this is like a lower level here, which looks like you would have been able to drive a vehicle or a tractor into. And directly up there is a very rundown mobile trailer. You can see it right there. The laying inside here is lots of old timbers. Scrap metal, various items. But, uh, we're gonna snoop around here and see if we find anything else. And you can see off in the distance there's a little structure over there. We're gonna go check that out really quick. Okay, this looks like a type of spring house. I'm not gonna get too close because uh, it's has water coming out. It's a mud pit, but uh, that's what it is. Pretty neat. I wish I could see inside though, but I don't want to get my shoes caked in mud. But just to give you a reference point, there's the barn up there, and there's the concrete foundation that we were just checking around. So, lots of this property. It's pretty neat. I believe he said this whole area 
including the mansion, sits on 119 acres. So it's quite a quite a location. Okay, wow, yeah, that is. Well, it's warm in here too. Very warm. That's probably about four or five feet deep. It's an old pump there. And that's full right to the top, leaking out. That is really awesome. I never saw one of these, like, in person. You can see there's water coming out of the hose. It's definitely considerably warmer in here, though. Oh, well, it's our first look inside a active spring house. Pretty awesome. So there's something pretty cool. They've got a sunken in bathtub, which is being fed from the spring house. And that was used to feed the livestock. I believe specifically cows. So they had a never ending flow of fresh spring water. And it's pretty neat that they had that out there for them. Very good treatment of animals. And over here, we got a very old vehicle kind of buried. What did you say this is? 53 Chevy, according to Chevy. It's reportedly a 53 Chevy. It's almost unrecognizable with the trees on top of it. But definitely you can tell it's a Chevy by the rear fenders. And the one surprising thing is it's not terribly rusted on the outside. You could still see the original paint. It's pretty incredible. And look inside here. There's the steering wheel. There's the tachometer or speedometer. I can't tell from here. It looks like a, the emergency brake lever. Brake pedal still there. Man, that's awesome. The steering wheel is pretty nice. You see the window cranks right there. Still solid, I mean. And there's the rear end of it. Don't think it's worth going inside, we'll take a peek at it. Oh yeah, this is pretty rotted. Yeah, it's still there. I don't know how far walk. Oh yeah, I'm almost falling through now. Eh, nothing much. It's junk. And right here we got... Looks like the frame of an old wagon. Probably a hay wagon. I like those wire wheels on it, spoke wheels. This place is just, keeps giving and giving. All right, I hope you guys are sticking with me so far. This video is turning out to be much longer and more interesting than I was anticipating. Uh, I thought it was originally gonna be just this 1930s mansion and it turned out to be a whole farm here with various structures. And uh, the last piece here is this little guest house. So. Gonna check this out and wrap up the video after that. But uh, just to correlate something, I initially said this house, which was um, that one. Initially thought it was abandoned for five years. It's closer to about 10 years. <clears throat> I found some of the items in that cabinet. And they were dated around 2009, roughly around there. So um, still a beautiful house though. And uh, I'll give you my thoughts on that later. So let's see if we can get inside here and take a peek at it. So here's a little separate furnace room. And it would have been the washer dryer room. So they had this little addition built on just for that. That's uh, interesting. Maybe we could get in this way. The floor is low. Yeah, definitely. I'm going to leave my stuff out here. I'm not going in. 
Are you not? Why? I've been in it once. Uh, is he not interesting? It's just an empty, uh, fairly modern, uh, styled. Um, it's more like, more updated in here. It's just like a desktop, I guess, for like the wall kind of thing. The spoiled rotten kids. Ow, my butt. <laughs> oh, there's a dead mouse right there. Is there? <laughs> oh, right there. Oh, yeah, look at him. Oh, my God, why'd he die? He us. lives in here, he probably died too. He could have died out. This is the building that had electricity when we were here. Oh, so check the light stuff. switch, it might. So, was that about two years ago? Yeah. No lights are there. Cool color. I think out in that front room there was a light switch, like a little kitchen area, I think. It's actually it's not bad in here. Oh, yeah. I love that color. In the toilet? I think it's called Tiffany Blue. Nice. Oh. It's actually nicer in here than I thought it was going to be. I like it. It's like a little house. Nice little corner shelf there. This is nice, too. No power. No. It's got even like hardwood ceilings. Yeah. Moldy, but uh, still nice. Wait, wait, wait. So we got an upstairs. Check that out. Yeah. Some nice windows. Oh, it's like a lock-up attic. One room. Oh wow. Very low ceiling. Yeah. This floor is not the greatest. Yeah. <laughs> so two little crawl spaces. Nice. It's good for a single person. Yeah, very clean. Low efficiency. I should say high efficiency. So now in all, it's a nice little guest house here. I guess that's part of the property for the mansion. Maybe for some more hired help. We got a little platter bowl here. Oh, I thought it was a dish, it's just the fabric. Someone cut the faucet. And the tiniest of all pantries. Very nice bathroom though. I like the colors of these fixtures. So another nice place, no graffiti, not much vandalism. So we'll head back outside. All right guys, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the look at this 1930s mansion. Uh, what can I say about it? I'm pretty much speechless. This was probably one of the best abandoned houses I've ever came to. And I've said that before, and you're probably saying, oh yeah, I've heard it before, but this house was simply beautiful, amazing, impressive and gorgeous. I mean, the stone exterior was amazing. The multiple rooms, the corridors, the hallways, the double stairwells, everything in that house was simply amazing. I've never seen anything quite like it. And just to know that it's been sitting here empty, abandoned for about 10 years, it's kind of sad and disheartening because it's a beautiful home. This thing should be saved. Now, speaking to Matt's friend, it's questionable as to whether or not they're going to save this or demolish it. Reportedly, a developer owns all the property here, including the, the barn and stuff we saw in the distance. So the future of it is unknown. So leave a comment down below. Tell me what your favorite part of this house was or the entire property because this video doesn't do it justice. The place is incredible, over 100 acres. And the house alone I could have made just a video on, but I wanted to show you the whole entire place here, including the barns and everything. So this is also our second location today from our road trip down here with Matt. And it's been simply amazing. This is well worth the trip down here. And I hope you guys are enjoying it as well. If you are, drop a like down below. If you're new to my channel and want to see more videos like this, just subscribe and ring that notification bell. And lastly, don't forget you can follow me on Facebook and you can donate to me on my Patreon page or you can pick up a JP Videos t-shirt if you'd like to help support my channel. But until next time, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.